It is the it is the duty of the the courts to say what the law is. Well, pardon me, but uh, bullshit. It's the duty of the people through their elected representatives to say what the law is. It is the duty of the judicial system to simply apply that law. That's all. Judges don't have the authority to come in and change things just because they don't like the way it is right now. So, what do you think about if, what's it going to take? You see people like CJ who are willing to go get a felony and risk losing their right to, to keep and bear arms. Is that what it's going to take? Just tiptoeing around that line and defining it more clearly? Frankly, I think it's going to take more than that. I think it's going to take somebody that finally stands up and says, look, if you tell me I can no longer speak my mind, before I let you force that on me, I'll fight you. If you tell me I can no longer go to church, or I have to go to the church you tell me to go to, before I let you force that upon me, I'll fight you. If you tell me that I can no longer complain about the government, before I let you force that on me, I'll fight you. And if you tell me that I can no longer have the equipment that I need to fight you, before I let you force that on me, I'll fight you. But now, here's the catch. I can stand out here in Dallas and say that by myself all day long, but if everybody else doesn't say it with me, I'm screwed. Wait, wait, wait. Some are calling the NRA out for hypocrisy, making that a gun-free zone, um, as to which many of that are members of the NRA are advocating against gun-free zones. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I worked yesterday, so I didn't get a whole chance to see uh, what Trump was going to say. I think gun free zones are a little, they're not ridiculous, but I think they're going to call it. Together across race, religion, and race, for a principle we all hold dear. Our presence here is a strong and lasting statement regarding the strength of our belief that the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. We will not be ignored, we will not be intimidated, and we will not let the Second Amendment fall. Yeah! It is imperative for our children, grandchildren, and generations beyond that we remain the right to that we maintain the right to bear arms in defense of life and liberty. In the gathering storm, Winston Churchill wrote, if you will not fight for right when you can easily win without bloodshed, if you will not fight when your victory is sure and not too costly, you may come to the moment when you will have to fight with all the odds against you and only a precarious chance of survival. There may even be a worse case. You may have to fight when there is no hope of victory because it is better to perish than to live as slaves. Yeah. 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 I challenge every person in this crowd today that from today forward you begin to fight. <laughs> Sorry, lost my place. <laughs> The battle is currently before us is a battle of words, ideas, and principles, and can be won without the cost of blood. To that end, women today are individuals that are on the front lines of bat the battle to maintain the Second Amendment rights. So we have Open Carry Texas, David Ahmad. Open Carry Texas is an organization dedicated to the safe and legal carry of firearms in the state of Texas in accordance with the United States and Texas Constitution and applicable laws. 
Their purpose is to educate all Texans about their right to arm in a safe manner, to condition Texans to feel safe around law-abiding citizens that choose to carry them, and to foster a cooperative relationship with local law enforcement in the furtherance of those goals with an eye toward preventing negative encounters. Uh, we also will have here today, and it's been kind of somewhat of a secret, but uh, we will have Chris McNutt of Texas Gun Rights, and uh, he's not here because he's going to pick up pizza. So, there will be pizza. Uh, Chris McNutt serves as the Executive Director for Texas Gun Rights, the state affiliate of the National Association for Gun Rights. With over 300,000 members and supporters, Texas Gun Rights is the largest no compromise gun rights organization in the state of Texas. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so I'm going live. I don't usually go live, but I'm out here at Dow City Hall for this NOA, excuse me, NRA protest. Look who we've got here. Hey, who's that guy in the orange vest? Hey, hey, you. Look here, over here. Look at there. Hey, it's David. Look at there who's here. We also got this guy right here. Thanks for coming out today. Red River, look at there. Thanks for coming out and uh, showing your support. What are y'all doing out here today? Somebody come What's bike down here? Yeah, what are you doing? Man, I got lost. I'm in the wrong turn on the freeway. I thought I saw the big direction. But, uh, you know how to get back to Houston from here. Well, there's a little bit of a wind. Uh, I thought you'd come in by parachute. No, it's too much wind for the parachute. Uh, but there's there's some drones flying around here. I guess. There is a drone. It's up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's kind of funny. I will tell you, um, I came out here today to fly my drone. I got approval from the FAA and all that sorts. And all these folks out here with guns, and I'm the one that got harassed for flying my drone, uh, even though I had all the approvals. And guess who has the best video of it? <laughs> oh yeah, News Down Houston grabbed some pretty good video yeah, earlier. Hurry, there's free pizza if you're hurrying. You're giving away free pizza, but you gotta hurry. Is it for the NRA? Yeah. Or is it for their opponents? No, it's for the NRA. So when you go over there, you have to say, yay, NRA, and you get free pizza. Well, I am hungry, but I don't know. Pizza would probably... Uh, pizza sounds good. I don't know, probably do me in for the evening. But... Uh, be great for a nap. I have to need a shade tree. Is David packing? I don't know. Where are you going? Packing for what? Oh, never mind. Of course, of course, David's packing. David's always packing. Look at there. David's packing. No, he. Why would you come to an event like this and not be? No, uh, just your focus. He's not packing pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you feel. Tell us how you feel. No, I, we need to hear each other's opinions. Well, I do think that we should have conversations. I do. But when I hear people, and I do think that we did have a really great conversation with the guy who had something strapped across his chest down at City Hall, and we ended up shaking hands with him. And um, I think that we are. Uh, we need more. I think so. I really do. I think that we're being played. I really do. I think that there's a great vision in this country right now, and I think that suits certain people's interests. And, you know, I'm a life of protection. I've lived here all my life. Um, I think that's the biggest divide we have right now. Would you agree with that? It's a business. I like your shirt. It's a business. Yeah, it's, all. it's a business. He sells money. He sells products that have been proven to be No, no, because I like to talk to people and have conversations with people. He, he was very upset and started yelling at someone because he didn't want to talk to info and then they made fun of that person. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Because he was saying that info was and so that's it. I'm all about conversation. Hey, get on the hill! Get on the hill! All right, I can't have a stage. So many things have been on the hill. Get on the hill! All right, well, I'm not seeing that. I'm not on this. 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 I'm not on this.
So, I'm also, so like, yeah, how, how would you describe, how do you fix the problem? How do you fix the problem of the bias in the media and this idea of fake news and the division of people from the left and people from the right, who at the end of the day still want the same things, right? I don't understand how you can fix it all around all the trade